How to create a voting poll in Google Forms. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build your own voting form in Google Forms. So let's get started. First off, head on over to Google and once you're in your Google dashboard, make sure that you are logged on to a account. Then on your top right, you can just click on your apps and then scroll down and click on forms. Once you do that, this will open up Google Forms. Now, once you've opened up your form, click on blank form on the top left. Then you're going to name your form. Whenever you name your form, on the top left, the title of the form is still going to remain untitled form. But as soon as you click it, whatever title you entered as your main heading, it's going to be entered here. So like this, this is called voting. Now I'm going to call this voting poll one. And then this is just going to be called voting poll over here. Then I can add a form description. So let's say this is our team vacation voting poll. And then after that, I'm going to add the question which I want voting for it to be. Your question could be, do you want to go to Paris for our team vacation? And your answers could be yes or no. Or if I'm providing multiple choices, I can ask, which is your preferred decision? destination for our team vacation and then i can add all the different options now i'm going to make this a multiple choice question and we're going to add our options so let's say it's paris then i'm going to add another option or let's say it's bali or let's say it's rome now, once I've added all three of the options, I can make this poll look a bit more interesting by adding a representative image. So we can add an inline image by clicking on the image tab here. And for this, I'm just going to search for Paris. I'm going to go into images here and I'm just going to open up this one and I'm going to save the image. Once I've saved the image, go back into my Google form. And then we're going to just upload this as our inline image. And this has been added. Now you can add multiple choices because I have added three different locations. So I'm just going to add this as well. And I'm going to save this one as well. Click on save image, upload that here and select. Okay, so this is WebHP. I can only do JPEG images, so. I'm going to have to make sure it's a JPEG image. Yeah, this one is going to work. Now I'm just going to open up the rest of my images. And you guys can see this one has been added instead. Now you can resize these as well so they fit nicely. But for one question, you can only add one image. You can add images on the top or you can add images like this in the background. That's totally up to you. So if I go and upload an image in the background that can look a bit too busy so you guys can see this has been added just as an image but i think it's just fine if i have one image now once i've created the basics of my voting poll you have to make this a required question on the bottom so people actually answer your question then you're going to go into responses and you can link this to a sheet as well and after that you're going to make it a uh, setting so you have to enable email responses and even if someone does not want to give their email still let them have responses so over here you're going to manage how your responses are collected now if you want people to be required to sign into google or if you want them to manually enter their email addresses or if you don't want to collect their email addresses now i want them to manually enter their email addresses and I don't want to send them a copy of their response. I don't want them to edit this and I want it to be limited to one response. This is really helpful whenever a person is going to answer. I don't want them to be voting for all different options. I want them to only have one choice out of all three choices. Once we do that, we can go into some of our defaults, which are fine for this one. And once we've done that, we can click on preview to preview it. Now to make this a bit nicer, you can go on ahead and click on customize theme and you can choose the style of your header. You can make this a bit nicer. You can change, you know, font styles and font colors to make it seem nice like this. 
And instead of the purple color, I can add like a teal color in the background or an orange color. And then I'm going to, yeah, I think the lighter color looks nice. And then once I've done that, I can just close this up and then I'm going to preview it again. And this is what it looks like. Once I've done that, I can click on send. Now I can email this or I can click on this link over here and then copy and paste this link into my team's group or into my team channel on Slack or any other platform that you're using for communication. Or you can embed this HTML in your team's website. Now this is just one way to create one singular voting poll. If you want voting on multiple different things at once, you can click on add question and add another question. Let's say our secondary question is, do you want to move lunch breaks to two, three or question mark? And the first option is yes or no. Yes and then no. And this is a simple yes or no question. Again, we're going to add this as a multiple choice. You have other options. Voting polls are most easily created either as multiple choices or drop downs because it just gives you how many people agree or disagree with a question. And wherever the majority lies, your team can make the decision to proceed with that particular situation. Now, you may say, hey, I named this voting poll and we named this voting poll one. Why are we, you know, not putting in the same name? Well, if I go back into my forms, now I can create a voting poll too, which could be sent to the other half of the team, or that could be sent to a different department. This enables me to create my own customized voting polls. Even if I'm running multiple different polls at once, I have easy categorization of the polls and I can easily determine which team wants what to be done and then I can do like you know a final poll where all teams are voting and then individual polls for individual teams. So voting poll one could be sent to the marketing team, voting poll two could be sent to the HR team like this and then I can determine whichever you know destinations were picked most frequently by most teams. I can choose that instead of just relying on a minority majority voting basis for the entire business. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to and integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.